Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Creative by Nature. My name is Donna. Today I am participating in the Ultimate Fall Wreath Playlist. It's not a challenge, it's a playlist. This is hosted by Natalie from Design to the Nines and it's co-hosted by Kristen Kay. There will also be a playlist, naturally. <laughs> So I'll have all the info posted down in the description box for you all. Let's hop into the project. Okay, so the supplies we're going to need for this project will be a hoop wreath, branches, a galvanized birdhouse. I got this one from Dollar Tree. Some tools that you're going to need are some wire cutters, pruning shears, sanding block, a rag, some glue sticks, and a glue gun. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is prepare our galvanized birdhouse. So I'm just going to bend the prongs back on the back to remove this front piece, like so. And then I'm also going to remove the stake that came with the piece. Okay, so I'm going to start by just distressing the galvanized piece with a bit of paint. I just want to make it look like it's rusted. So I'm just going to add some paint really sporadically. I am now going to go in with my rag and just wipe some of it off in a dabbing motion. Okay, so once you've achieved the look that you want, you're going to let it dry and then you're going to go in with a sanding block and just rough up the surface to make it really look old and grungy. So now that the paint is dry on the silver part of the birdhouse, I'm just going to go in with some cream chalk paint and cover up the orange paint on the roof and on the bottom I need to hide this part because I don't want any of it showing through okay so once the paint is dry on the birdhouse. I am now going to go in and add some tree bark to the roof line as well as the base of the house. And I'm just going to use hot glue to adhere it. Adhering the birch bark, make sure you don't cover up this base hole right here because that's where we're going to be putting our flower and butterfly back. So now I am going to alter the flower and butterfly piece that I removed from the birdhouse. So I'm just going to go in with some chalk paint and I want to make the flower look like a sunflower. Thank you. 
So our flower is pretty much dry to the touch. So I'm just gonna go in with my sanding block and just kind of distress it a bit. Just remove some paint off of the edges. go back in and redefine the center of my flower. Okay, so now that our flower is dry, I'm just going to distress the center of it with our sanding block and then adhere it back to the birdhouse. So now I am going to glue my branch in place. I'm just going to see about placement by testing it out where I'm going to have my birdhouse because the birdhouse is going to get attached to the branch. So that looks about good. I have my clippers. I'm going to just cut it down a bit and then I will be gluing it in place. Now our birdhouse is done, so I am going to adhere it to the inner branch of our wreath. Now keep in mind, this is heavy, so I am going to give a generous amount of glue on the back side here to adhere it. And then I will see if it needs any more, any more reinforcement. Okay, so just a tip for you. Make sure the tip of your birdhouse is matched up with the tip of your hoop, just so you know that it's straight up and down. And hold the birdhouse in place until the glue sets. Now I'm gonna go in and add some florals and foliage, and I'm gonna keep this really simple. Okay, so I ended up pulling out these uh, larger cotton ball stems. Place it with some smaller ones that I had purchased from Dollar Tree. I just found that these ones were too big. So now I'm gonna go in and add the flower flowers that I have here. They're like mini sunflowers, as well as a bit of the foliage from the stems. I want to thank Kristen and Natalie for this awesome challenge. I absolutely loved it. I love the piece that I created. And again, there will be a playlist down below in the description box as well as the links to their channels. I want to thank you all for being here. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love it if you were a part of my community as well as tap on the bell so you can stay up to date with what I have to share. And I'd love it if you give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.